from Detroit to Nashville, bringing you a constant variety of sports. The thrills of victory, the agony of defeat, the human drama of competition. This is Detroit Country Sports Network. Brought to you by Detroit Country Clothing Company for all your sports clothing needs. We have t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, onesies for the baby, and the infamous Detroit Country hat worn by Ryan J. Brought to you by GM Global Media for all of your social media needs. Also, I Prudential Records for all of your recording industry needs. Good afternoon and welcome to Detroit Country Sports Network. This is Sports Talk. I'm Eddie Z. And filling in for Johnny Rocks today, we have Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave is none other than Milford's legendary quarterback from 1982. Thank you for having me, and thank you for that introduction. No problem. Unfortunately, Johnny could not join us today. He's in uh, Nashville getting ready to attend the Josie Awards, where he will be hanging out with none other than Ryan Jay. Uh, the two of them are going to have a great time down there, and uh, we're hoping Ryan Jay is going to bring some awards home. Were you uh, able to uh, watch our last show from last weekend? Yes. The Thumbmore? Yes. Yeah, wasn't that ridiculous? It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was pretty... Uh, it was funny. Pretty shocking. It was pretty funny, though. Yeah, pretty shocking. I can't believe that... Uh, um, number one, I can't believe that Ryan stole our sideline reporter. Um, apparently, they're married. Nobody knew this. Detroit Country Sports Talk, you're on. This is Eddie Z. Sure is. How you doing? Eddie Z, this is Sean. I'm calling from Southfield, Michigan. Huge fan, huge fan. First time caller. Thanks for having me. Thanks for calling. Hey, just wanted to see what your thoughts on uh, JMO's suspension were. Ah, well, I don't know. What do you think about that, Dave? Well, he said it was a mistake, and I kind of believe him because... All these energy drinks that they drink these days have performance-enhancing substances in them. So I really believe he, he was didn't do it on purpose. So I think he just has to, lines have to get through these two games, and we'll be fine. And, I mean, you know, honestly, do you really believe creatine is a performance-enhancing substance? I mean, I don't really think it is. I mean, if that's the case, I mean, you might as well call vitamin D. A performance enhancing substance, right? I don't agree with it. I don't either. All right. What um, what do you think about Minnesota? You think their first five wins were just a fluke, or what? What's what's Sam Darnold doing? Well, Sam, who? Where did he come from? Sam. What was that guy's name? Wasn't he like on every other team in the NFL for like two minutes, and they booted him out? Minnesota's his fourth team. He's only 27, and he's lost everywhere he's been. So I really do think Minnesota is a fluke this year so far. Yeah, I, I, I want to say that his, uh, his O-line is probably uh, carrying him uh, more than he's uh, helping them. Um, I'm, I'm going to say it's a fluke. I think it's a fluke. I think when their season go, gets longer, he's going to collapse like he always does. Yeah, yep. And he'll be with Jacksonville next year or Yikes. Houston or somewhere else. Anything uh, well, else there, Sean? That's all I got. I appreciate your time and keep up the good work. Hey, we really appreciate you calling. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Alex, first time caller. I like everything you guys do with Ryan J. Thank you uh, very much. We're uh, trying to do our best work here. Yeah, he seems like a real rising star for sure. Um, but what I'm calling about is, what are your thoughts on Crosby coming to the Lions? I personally like the idea, but again, I'm curious on your guys' thoughts. Well, personally, something has to happen. Uh, is he the answer to it? In my mind, yes. Can we afford his contract? I'm not sure. 
Uh, Dave, what do you think? Well, I think he'd be a great addition, and as far as his contract, he has two and a half years left on it. He signed a $94 million extension, so it would give the Lions him for two and a half more years. And from what I've read, they do have the cap space, and Brad Holmes just have to make the decision, and I trust Brad Holmes to make the right decision. And just a side note, Crosby did go to Eastern Michigan University here in Michigan, and Eastern was the only school that offered him a scholarship after high school. So hopefully that would be some kind of loyalty for Max to come to Detroit. Well, he was also born here in Lapeer, Michigan, so you know it's always nice to bring a hometown boy home. That would be great to get him home. I do realize that he did not attend high school here, but at the same time, he's a hometown boy. I agree. It would be wonderful to get him here. I agree with that. Does that well, answer your question? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I wasn't, I wasn't aware that he went to Eastern, um, but that that would be pretty close to Detroit, and I think he would be a great addition as well. Absolutely. Any other questions? Nope, that's all I had for you guys. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much for calling. Hello, you're on live with Eddie Z and Diamond Dave. Hi, this is Lynn calling from Ann Arbor, Michigan. How you doing, Lynn? I'm doing good. I just wanted to say I think you guys are doing such a great job, and I love everything you do for Ryan J. I just listened to his new song that came out today, The High Road. It's so good, and I was just wondering, when can we expect an album? Wow, great question. Well, his uh, new album uh, should be ready to come out somewhere around the first of the year. Uh, We're looking forward to it as well. Um, For all of his music needs, you can go, or all of his music, you can go to Spotify, uh, as well as uh, Apple Music and YouTube Music. Um, And then you can get updates on when the album will actually be out if you keep your eyes on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll be announcing things as things progress. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling, Lynn. You have a great day. Hello, you're on live with Eddie Z and Diamond Dave. Who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? Hey, guys, this is Larry, uh, first-time caller. Hey, Larry, how you doing? Thanks for calling. Doing good, doing good. I think, uh, first off, I, I think all the stuff you guys do with Ryan J is pretty awesome, man. That dude's a rising star. I, I dig it. It's pretty cool. But um, I just wanted to talk a little hockey with you, if you can. What Absolutely. Do you think? What do you got? So, new new signing for the Wings. They they inked Patrick Kane for another year for, for what, $4 million, right? Yes. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Like, I, I think $4 million for Patrick Kane is, I mean, he could be half dead and it's still worth four million just because of what he represents but my uh my worry is the the rough start with the team this year and potential of not getting near the playoffs do do we see you know Kane as being a wasted signing because if that's the case he's probably going to ask to be dealt at the deadline well I'm going to let Diamond Dave take this one but I am going to say I don't think anybody would ever waste money on Patrick Kane. It's definitely not a waste. Well, last year, what, they have him for only half the season? Yes. They signed him middle, in the middle of the season? Well, I think he's a great addition, and I think the $4 million is well worth it. And I think they need to gel. They signed some other players this year in the off season, So I think we need to give them a little bit of time to gel. And I think they'll be okay. They were very close to making the playoffs last year. After eight years of not making the playoffs, I think they'll be fine. And I, I actually think they'll make the playoffs. Yeah, and, and, and I get that. Like I said, I, there's never a bad reason to sign Patrick Kane. And, and for $4 million, you just can't go wrong. But, again, he he wants to play for a team that is going to be a cup contender, you know, at, at the most and a playoff, a solid playoff team at the very least. And I'm not saying that the Wings can't do that, but – you know, especially with a rocky start this season and, you know, a lot of players in development still, we're, we're not a cup team at this point, you know, and my worry is that this is money we could have spent elsewhere on a bit more of a future, you know, three to five years down the road. That's all. 
Well, the question comes into play there on uh, Patrick Kane's leadership abilities. Can he lead the team to do what he's expecting? Yes, that, that is a solid question. Um, and then the other part of what I was wondering, uh, your guys' perspective, is how many years do you think he's got left in the tank? You know, Stevie only signed him to one year, but, you know, let's say they, they get close or they do make it to the playoffs, you know, even with an early exit, you know, could inspire him to stick around. Is this someone that, that we could sign for another two years, three years, or would we even want to? What do you think the future holds for Patrick Kane beyond this season? Well, I would say we'd have to wait and see how the season plays out and they will make the determination at the end of the season. He is only signed for one year, and he can make a decision whether he wants to sign with somebody else, and the Wings can make the decision whether they want to sign him. I think, sure. it's, a, I think it's a no-win or it's a win-win situation. When it comes to whether he's got enough gas in the tank, um, you know, you got you to gotta go back to some of the old Red Wings. Uh, look how long Eiserman played. Look how long Chelios played. Um, uh, first off, you can't include Chelios or Yager in any conversation. Those guys aren't human. Yeah. <laughs> very, very true. <laughs> yeah. and, and Patrick has had some pretty, you know, severe injuries yes. in his past, which, you know, played a big part in why his, you know, his production is not what it used to be. You know, sure, he's a little bit older, but, you know, there's other things that come into play. I'm not saying that he's he's not worth it. He's still, you know, he's still one of the most dangerous players on the ice when he's out there. But I, I just, I'm cautious about signing, you know, veterans to one-year deals, you know. Um, I'd like to see something that's, you know, at least got two on it because you want someone to be committed to your franchise to help your franchise grow, you know, even in that capacity of being just, you know, an elder statesman, a leader, you know, to help develop the young kids and, and give them something to learn from. You know, I just, I, I'm not a big fan of one-year deals simply because, these kids, they learn from this guy and they start to like really rely on this guy and then he leaves and then they have to learn a new thing from somebody else. Well, let me, let me say this. By him signing that one-year deal, that shows his commitment. He did play a half a season last year. He came in. He may have saw some things he liked. That's why he signed the additional one year. And we'll see where it takes him because... He, of course, does want to be on a cup-driven team. So if he isn't able to get where he thinks he could be by the end of the season, he's got his out. Yeah. My problem is where does that leave Detroit, though? You know, it's like I said, if that's the case, then, you know, that's money that could have been spent, you know, on a better future as opposed to someone who's here and gone in a year or less. That's my only concern. But that's oh. a year of a lot of teaching. That's true. They're that's paying. True. They're you know, paying for those like boys to get that. an education. Yep, and that is definitely a way to look at it. Well, I appreciate you guys taking my call. That's uh, that's kind of what I was hoping you guys would have a perspective, and I'm not the only one that thinks that way. So, thanks for taking my call, guys. Keep Absolutely. With, uh, with the Ryan J stuff, man, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I love watching it. Thank you for your call, Larry. Hi, you're on live with Eddie Z and Diamond Dave. Who do we have calling? Hey, Eddie Z, this is Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester? Uncle Fester. Oh, good Lord. What, why are you calling? You're not even Uncle Fester. You're I'm an Uncle imposter. Fester. I'm Uncle Fester. You're I'm an imposter. I am pissed off, Eddie Z. Why? Why are you mad? Yeah, you ruined cheated, my show they last cheated, weekend. They cheating out my belt. He cheated you? He cheated me out of my belt. You were the one lubing up the whole ring over there. His hands are three times bigger than mine. Well, that's not all from what I heard from my sideline reporter. Oh, really? Your sideline reporter is a bimbo. And she was looking at him the entire time and only wanted him. Well, do you blame her? Yes. Look, you're Fat, bald, and smell like pond water. Oh, I, I can't even believe I'm even talking to you belt. right now. He cheated me out of my belt. Nobody cheated you out of anything. Good Lord. Why Why on earth? Mine. He cheated. 
He doesn't deserve it. And it belongs to me, and I want a rematch. Look, what what is your real name, anyway? It's Uncle Fester. Oh, my God, this guy. Uncle Fester, you know what you should do? What's that, AZ? You should oil yourself up and jump in a cell with Diddy. He'd appreciate that. Now that's just rude. Well, you know what? You calling here is rude. You're an imposter. You're not even... You're, you're, you're like the rest of the blue corner. Everybody's always cheating. I don't understand well, I don't how people even that. live with the blue themselves. Blue corner does not cheat. The red corner cheats, and he cheated. No. You're the one found with the Vaseline on your thumb. Now, what you did with that thumb after you left the pond, I don't really care, but I'm done with this conversation. Goodbye. Well, <sighs> Sorry, Dave. Uh, that's a little, a little stuff from last weekend, man. I'm, I'm heated up right now, man. I'm. Uh, I can see that. I'm shaking. Um, hey, uh, can somebody get the producer? I do not want any more phone calls from Uncle Fester. Eddie, what's what's the problem? Look. If Uncle Fester's got the nads to call here after last weekend's debacle, I don't doubt he wouldn't show up here. If he shows up here, I'm going to go insane. He's going to end up more broken than a bottle. Hello, you're on live with Eddie Z and Diamond Dave. Who do we have calling? Yo, guys, it's Ryan J. How y'all doing? Great. We're doing good. How are you? Not too bad, man. Enjoying the sunny, beautiful weather here in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, that's great. What's the temperature like down there? It's been consistent, like in the 75, 80s, sunny. So, uh, man, I miss that up. weather. It's like 45 here today. You're not missing much. Yeah, that ain't that ain't no fun. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that's all right. So, what do you got going on this weekend? Man, got some big things going on. Uh, Sunday, we are going to the Grand Old Opry for the Josie Awards. I am up for five nominations, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, however, I'm a little nervous, though, because I'm missing the Detroit Lions game, and also they're playing the Tennessee Titans. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty good matchup, I think. Um, no, it is. It is, un it is. Unfortunately, you've got to miss that, but... Hey man, I hope you uh, hope you get a few of those awards. No man, I uh, I appreciate it. We're uh, we're up for a couple of them, so I'm very honored and blessed and grateful for these opportunities, and uh, I can't wait to see what it brings. And so, what do you what do you think about this Lions team this year? Man, honestly, I love what Dan Campbell's doing. I'm a huge Lions fan. Obviously, Detroit country baby. Detroit being a Detroit boy, uh, gotta love the Lions. But I love what he's doing. Um, the owner, Sheila Hamp, what she's done for the team, that's been amazing. I mean, we've been to a couple games already. Uh, the Monday night games, we were, home, we were there for the uh, Sunday kickoff, and the crowds are just electric there like never before. Like, it's just um, this team and what it's become is just truly amazing. So uh, Nashville's where I want to be. Nashville's my hub for the music, but I still got to root for those Detroit Lions, baby. Yeah, they're uh... – they're a pretty spectacular uh, team. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I think Dan Campbell and Sheila Hemp, Hemp is doing a great job. Um, it's just Dan Campbell cracks me up every time with his post-game locker room talks. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I love the fact that he was given the game ball back uh, a couple weeks ago by uh, uh, Goff. That was, that was quite amazing. He definitely deserves a game ball here and there. No, that was a, that was a great game last week and I mean beating an undefeated team, I mean you can't you can't ask for more. I mean they're, they're on fire. They're on fire. So, let's see what it brings me. Yeah, it's going to be uh it's going to be a good season. I think the rest of this season is going to be great. I think we got over our uh biggest hurdle uh which were the Vikings. Exactly, exactly. Uphill from here. Uphill from here. Yep. So you got any questions for us? Questions for you guys. Well, 
what do you guys got going on this week? And I know I'll be at the Josie Awards at the Grand Ole Opry. You guys got any exciting plans? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be at a football game. Uh, <laughs> is it the one we're talking about? Or? Yeah, it, it just might be. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to rub that in, but. No, I'm you jealous. Know. I'm jealous. I wish I was there, but I got to take care of business at the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, I'm excited for that. So we'll see what happens there. Hey, you know, one day I think it would be uh, really, really wonderful to have you play at Ford Field. Man, you're not the first person that has, you know, has said that. Like, a couple people have reached out, like, during a halftime show, during something. And, I mean, what better song to play than Detroit Country at Ford Field during a home game? Come on. Oh, that would be amazing. And let me tell you, you know, I, your live shows, your live shows are just amazing. I have to commend you on that. Um, I don't know what awards you're up for uh down there at the Josie's but uh I hope your live performances are one of them because you are just amazing live no man I really appreciate that that means a lot man we've been crafting it for for years and I've been really just you know meticulous about it and going through a lot of things and I just you know it took me a couple years you know when I first started off doing country music you know but you know I, I found my sound I found my niche and I just uh I love where we're at so yeah, it's, you, you've done a great job. Keep up the good work. Uh, on another note, um, I got a little something funny for you. Um, <laughs> Uncle Fester called into the radio show. Get out uh, of here. What did, what did he have to say? He said you cheated. And no. he wants no. his belt back. And he said he's going to whoop your ass and a few other things. And he said that... Uh, uh, our sideline reporter probably should have been leaving with him. Uh, there was quite a few things he had to say. Uh, I, I, I got really upset. I had to hang up on him. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, my hand was the one coated in Vaseline. So. Well, by him. Yeah. By him, yes. yes. Okay. By him. Yeah. Okay. By him. <laughs> Had to make sure you had to make sure you clarified that. Well, yeah, yeah, we don't we don't want the listeners thinking anything funny. Ah, it doesn't matter. We got the video proof. He's, yeah, we do got the proof. He's watch. still denying that he's anybody other than Uncle Fester. I said, you know, I mean, come on, man, you're you're fat, bald, and smell like pond water. Get off my show. Right. So, Unbelievable people these days. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, but hey, you know what? I hung up on him because I figured that was the high road. Uh, because otherwise I was going to carry it on a little bit too much, and then I'd have had something to blame on the jack. We've all been there. Yep, yep. absolutely. Yep. All right, well, I thank you so much for calling in today. This is uh, a blessing for us uh, to be able to talk to you one-on-one. Uh, it's great. Any Anything to add, Dave? Well, Ryan, I wish you luck on Sunday. I appreciate that, man. We're looking forward to it. And hopefully we uh, we bring a few home back to Detroit and uh, we can put it up on that wall. So, come on. Absolutely. Let's do this. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for calling in. Yes, sir. We'll talk to you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to take a commercial break brought to you by our sponsors. Hey, folks. Do you want the opportunity to win some Lions tickets? Dave? Yes, you could go to Detroit countryclothingco.com purchase a t-shirt and once 100 t-shirts are purchased you will be entered into a raffle to win four dream tickets to the Detroit Lions game on Thanksgiving Day you'll also be given parking and $400 in Lions loot for drinks and food while you're there And let me tell you, these dream seats, these dream seats are amazing. You're sitting in a recliner for the game. You got the screen in front of you. You got the big screen out there over the field. You got the field in front of you. It's amazing. I've been in them multiple times. So go to DetroitCountryClothingCo.com and purchase your shirt with your chance to enter that raffle. We will announce our winner on next week's show, provided we have one. Get out there, buy a t-shirt. Hello, you're on the air with uh, Eddie Z and Diamond Dave. Who do we have calling today? Uh, It's Tony from Romulus. How you doing, Tony? Pretty good. Uh, Long-time listener, first-time caller. Excellent, excellent. Uh, You have a question for us today. 
Yes. Do you think the Lions are going to cover the uh, 11 and a half point spread for the Titans? Ah, what do you think, Dave? I think they will. Lions are pretty strong, even though they're not going to have J- J-Mo. Um, the tit- they just have too much for the Titans. And I actually think the score is going to be 38 to 10. I was actually thinking the same thing. You know, uh, honestly, I, I don't think uh, I don't think Tennessee brings much of a game, um, and I'm, I'm going to have to say the score is probably going to be somewhere around like fifty nine to fourteen. What do you What are you thinking, Tony? See, I got into this conversation with a guy I work with. He thinks he's a football star. Apparently, he played for some. High school, and he won the championship back in like 1976. It's funny, man. We all call him uh, Al Bundy because he just living in his heyday. Huh. But uh, interesting. I think uh, I think it might go 34-3 for the Lions. Hey, you know, 34-3. to uh, Well, I mean, we'll see. Uh, that definitely. Uh, you know, covers the points, but uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking the over as well. Um, I think it's going to go over. Um, they're going to cover the points, but you know, I I really I got to ask you another question. Um, I know a guy like that that you're talking about. Well, where whereabouts do you work in Romulus? Uh, just out, outside of downtown, like a little bit from the landing strip. Really. Yeah, you know it's funny. I, I I don't know. Are you watching us right now or just calling in? I'm just calling in. Yeah, you know it's funny. Do you know who Diamond Dave is? Diamond Dave. <laughs> he sound it's it's. See, did did the guy play for Milford? I think he played for Milford. Is his name Dave? I don't know his real fucking name. Nobody cares about him. Oh, good Lord. I'm pretty sure I'm sitting next to the guy you're talking about right now. Oh, um, shit. You know, he, he's he's <laughs> old, up. right? He's a really old guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's ancient. Like, he's just up there in years and still trying to relive his youth. You know, it's he, he bought onto my show today. He's Seriously? like, he, yeah, he's got all these demands that we had to bring up his high school career and stuff. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, that's Diamond Dave over here. Hey, hey Tony. He, he's making me call him Diamond Dave. Hey, Tony. Yeah. I'm impressed with your football knowledge. Most gay guys don't know that much about football. Wow. Well, I mean, I watch a little bit of wrestling, too. So I remember back in the day, wasn't it... Uh, Diamond Dallas Page, they they referred to him as a diamond upside down as a Ooh. Diamond Dave, huh? Wow. Well, you know, it's funny you bring up wrestling because one of our last callers that called in was, he he had some problems with Vaseline. Um, Vaseline? Yeah, you know. You can't find baby oil anymore. Exactly. You know, that's definitely a good point. You you can't get baby oil anywhere nowadays. Um, it was all bought out by the diddler. Tony, thank you for yeah. calling. Uh, it's been a no pleasure. Problem. All right, we'll talk to you later, Tony. Thanks. All right, bye. All right, bye. We're going to sign off by saying we're taking the high road and getting ready for this busy sports weekend. But wait, Dave. What do you think about the Michigan-Michigan State game coming up? Well, I think hands down Michigan's going to win. Um, I've watched both play this year. And even though Michigan's on a down year, I don't think Michigan State has risen up enough to challenge them. Really? How exactly do you think Michigan's going to win? Are they going to go out and buy another quarterback? Well, it seems to be they have a different one in almost every game. Have you seen Michigan State's quarterback play? He's At turn- least he's there every game. He's a turnover machine, too. Well, I mean, you got to play the game to have turnovers. Well, Michigan, I believe they're still superior, and they'll beat Michigan State. 
I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be close. I don't think so. I think it's going to be something like, I don't know, 32 Michigan State to maybe 9 Michigan. (laughs) I don't think so. Really? (laughs) Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You want to make a little side bet? Sure. Yeah? Sure. How about how about a little thumb wrestling? <laughs> I am Ryan J, and I approve this message. Rolling out of here, I'm gonna take the high road.